What? I called you six times and left a voicemail. Why did it take you so long to call me back? Because I have nothing to say to you. There should be zero communication between you and me, given the circumstances. Look, I don't care what you believe. I stand by the notion that it was Nanny Agatha who forged those paternity tests. But I have a request for you, and I'm going to ask you sincerely. You can request whatever you want. I'm not giving it the time of day. We're long past any of that. You know, I'm trying to talk to you as a human being. I'm trying to be civil. I'm long past being civil, too. You stood up at my wedding and objected. I think I should have stopped being civil at that point. But I gave you years of being civil. And then you fake a paternity test on me to ruin my life. To give Joey a baby that's not his. I'm done being civil. Have you ever considered that I'm right about Nanny Agatha forging the tests? And you're taking this out on me unjustly? No, absolutely not. Nanny Agatha would not do that. She was trying to tell me what you did before she vanished. And I'm going to get down to the bottom of that, too. Oh, fine, you can continue thinking that I'm lying. But I'm still going to make my request. What's the request? My request is to not tell Joey. <laughs> that That's the first thing I'm doing when he comes home. If he comes home. I'm telling him right away. Sometimes, Miranda, it's better to just live with a lie. Think about all the people you're going to be hurting by telling him the truth about those paternity tests. You don't think that Joey has bonded with the baby at this point? Do you know what you're going to do to his world when he finds out? No, I think he had his moments with Chris, but in the grand scheme of things, I really don't think he cares about him. So before he was taken in with the police, why did he hold on to Chris for so long? Why was it so hard for him to give up custody then? I'm not going to stand here and try to guess what's in Joey's mind. But I know that he's just going to be more than happy to not pay child support. I think you're underestimating Joey's ability to feel. He may not express all his emotions, but I, I do know he cares about this baby. I care about this baby. And you can't tell me that after you've been watching it for so long, that you don't care about it too. At least I learned how to say his name. You still have a problem doing that. Something tells me that you don't care about your grandchildren as much as you let on. And then there's Melissa. You know, I know you don't care for her, but when she gets out of her facility and comes back and realizes that you gave her child to her family and that Joey's no longer the father, you're hurting her as well. I'm not trying to be cold, but I could give a rat's ass about Melissa. And I'm 100% certain that within days, Chris is going to be going to Julia, Melissa's cousin. She doesn't live in Texas. She's 45 minutes from me. You don't have a right to do that. You don't have a right to give that baby to anyone. Chris. You don't have a right to give Chris to anyone. You're not blood. You don't have any rights either, especially telling me what to do. Because you have zero blood relation to Chris as well. So you don't have rights either. You're being very cold and very selfish, Miranda. You're not thinking about all the people that you're going to hurt. You're only thinking about yourself in this situation. I am sorry that Nanny Agatha forged the test. It's not As always, this conversation's gone on way too long. Goodbye. Oh.